Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take the graph of an ellipse and we're going to find the parametric equations for it and then we're going to represent it as a vector valued function. So let's do it. So let's start off with a simple example. Um, say we have x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 and it's equal to 1. So we're going to find the parametric equations for this ellipse, and then we're going to write the answer as a vector-valued function, just so you see uh, both ways to do it. So the way I like to do this uh, is to think about it every single time. So there is a trig identity that most people know. If you have cosine squared t plus sine squared t, you get 1. Right? So if you know this, uh, in theory, uh, you should be able to do this problem with some thinking. So we need to figure out what we can plug in here to make this whole thing equal to 1, right? Because there's a 1 here on the right-hand side. So we want to get rid of the 9. So I'm thinking if we replace x with 3 cosine t, that's going to do the job. And likewise, to get rid of the 4, we can replace the y with 2 sine t. And that should do the job. And let's check, right? On the left here, we would get 9 cosine squared t. So 9 cosine squared t over 9 plus, and this is a beautiful method, 4 sine squared t over 4. And these cancel, and there it is, beautiful. Cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1, so it checks. So this pair of parametric equations pretty much solves this equation. So one pair of parametric equations, that would be a solution, would be x equals 3 cosine t and y equals 2 sine t. I say one pair because there's infinitely many pairs, right? You can, you can replace t with 2t, and then the ellipse is traced out twice as fast. So uh, we'll just stick with this. So these are the parametric equations. So parametric equations. So typically, like in a Calculus 2 class, um, you find parametric equations. So now let's go to Calc 3. Let's turn this into a vector valued function. So to do that, you would have r of t. And recall the formula is x of t i hat plus y of t j hat. Right? So this is going to be our vector valued function. And then so x is 3 cosine t. So this is 3 cosine t i hat plus and then we have 2 sine t j hat and that's it that's our vector valued function let's do let's do one more and let's make it way harder so another ellipse again how about x minus 1 squared over 4 plus y plus 2 squared over 25 equals 1 so there's a formula you can use for this, but again, let's, let's try to avoid that and do it using our minds. So as before, we can use the same technique, right? Um, we want this whole piece here, x minus 1, to be equal to 2 cosine t, right? Because when you square it, uh, it'll go away. You'll get, you'll get cosine squared. And we want this piece here to be equal to 5 sine t, right? Because when you square it, the, the 25 will go away and you'll get sine squared. So we start by taking 2 cosine t and setting that equal to x minus 1, right? So replace the entire thing, the whole x minus 1, with 2 cosine t. Likewise, we take 5 sine t and we set that equal to y plus 2. Solving the first equation for x, we add 1 to both sides, so we get 1 plus 2 cosine t. Solving the second equation for y, we get y equals, so subtracting 2, negative 2 plus 5 sine t. So those are our parametric equations for this ellipse. And to find our vector valued function, just like before, it's going to be x times our vector i hat, so it'll be 1 plus 2 cosine t i hat, and then it would be negative 2 plus 5 sine t uh, j hat. Um, I suppose you could come up with a formula for this, uh, right? Your center here would be hk, etc., but um, I personally, just a matter of opinion, um, I like doing it this way because 
when you do it this way, you know, it's like the world is yours. You can do anything, right? Because you're understanding it, right? I mean, if you plug these back in, it checks. So um, I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there who is doing some mathematics. That's it.